What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ronji.com's Garage Channel Transformers Story Finders. Or GSCF2 for short. It's a new show, and today <laughs> I can see my reflection. That's why I'm doing all these uh, action poses. But um, and today we're doing our, our, we're continuing our special series, ongoing GSTF2 Talk Fridays, or GSTF3 for short. It's the new new show. Basically, we're taking a look at newer stuff. Uh, sooner than if you know we followed the regular GSTF2 slash GSTF um, sort of uh, programming. So uh, today, uh, you, you've probably seen it in the title of the video, but today we're taking a look at Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy, Netflix, Walmart exclusive, Hotlink, and there is the packaging. Very nice, very nice. So now I have, I haven't yet revealed Red Wing, but I do have Red Wing. Um, I think I've I might have done a mail call on you all for Red Wing, but maybe not. Yes, but I have a question to mm -hmm. ask. Um, is is this version the third the third thingy in the trilogy? No, it's oh. just the, because there's gonna be a Netflix uh, like cartoon, right? With, oh yeah. Siege? With War for Cybertron and Siege and all of that, so they have net uh, what do you call it Walmart exclusive toys. That's basically all this is, but. So I have the three pack seekers. I have Thundercracker, Skywarp, and Starscream. I have Red Wing. I haven't yet reviewed that or looked at that. I'm gonna, yeah, it's, it's gonna be featured, I think, on GSTF three. This show Fridays at six p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. Eastern Time in the U.S. and Canada and everywhere else. It's basically, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, today we're gonna take a look at Red Wing, uh, Hot Link, and so that rounds out our eight Siege Tetrajet speakers or seekers. Yeah. Um, he of course comes with these two guys, which look like clones of each other. Um, and then there's artwork of Hotlink. I think she, it's supposed to be a female Autobot. We'll find out. Autobot? There's um, oh, Decepticon Seeker. And there is Heat box art, well, stroke. photos on the back. Heatstroke and Heartburn. They look oh. exactly the same, except they have different colors for their like sunglasses or visors. Uh, but that's that's cool. Uh, I mean, they're all going to make it exact. Yeah, they're same. exactly the same, basically. And there, there's hot link. So let's go right ahead and unbox this guy um, properly. How do we do this properly? Let us do it from the top. So it's a uh, typical siege or War for Cybertron trilogy shapes and boxing. There's a little bit of that angled side here. And, and this is just how I've done, like, un I've opened these guys up. Like, most of my Siege and Earthrise stuff is I, I open from the top, I think. I mean, I should probably open from the bottom, but... I think we should use Oop, did I do that properly? Not yet, but... It looks like, yeah, it looks like I did do that properly, so I just need to pull it up. There you go. And let's pull out... Hot milk. Hot milk and... Heat burn and heat stroke and heartburn. Oh, 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 bad names. What do you mean bad? Those are like um, health conditions or something. So not very good. So here what, what is hot link. What I would say about it is you could get confused between the first half of the name heat and heart. Right? Yes. Yes. Heat stroke and heartburn. Actually, if you know those things, what those are, uh, you probably won't get confused. So I feel like the I don't know if the um, like arm cannons are the same as the other Seekers, but if they're not, then that's cool. And and cool? one of the things about the Netflix series is basically the paint. So it's basically the same mold um, face-wise. This one's just the you know straight face kind of thing. But the paint basically that they've done here is really cool, really nice. So that's what that's what really allure, that's what's alluring here. Of course, some people will treat this as their Skywarp. But I'm telling you, this isn't Skywarp. So, hot yeah, it's Hotlink. And Whoa, there he is. With... All of the yeah. That's crazy. So it's a bunch of them the in the same area. Oh, there he is. Still Look, can you cut out heat, stroke, and heartburn? You don't even need to cut them out. You just need to pull them out. Oh. Yeah. Wait a second, bud. What, what you doing? Remember that time we were doing two episodes of Playtime with Fonts and Prime and GSTF 2 and 3? Okay. And, and wow. it was crazy because they heard, because with whichever episode you watch, then, then they hear the other episode going Oh, on. oh yeah. Remember that? Yeah, oh boy, these tie downs are just stuck in there somehow. Okay, um, 
and I, I don't like how this has been done, but it's fine. It's nothing major. Oops, oops. It's okay, but it's trying to get this tie down. Out. Can you take the? How do I even? Can you out and put a stroke at heartburn? Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I can do it, but I just okay. There he is, or oh, she is finally. There he is. Oh wow, it just looks so good. So I can't. I mean, I'm also tempted to get the Megatron. Um, and that's about and also the Mirage and also the Refractor. Um, oh, thanks, bud. That's helpful. So here they are. Wait, who's heat burn and who's or heat stroke and heartburn? I think this is heat stroke and this is heartburn. But it doesn't matter. They they look very they both look very cool. And obviously, and so this is the show. So I mean, GSTF three basically. Oh, I'm gonna pan down here. Hey, where's the other one? Yeah, it's with me. GSTF three is basically the show where we do sort of a mail call new haul in most cases, but we, we look at new newer um, Transformers toys that's released. I think you. I think you about GSTF three. You're just trying to open. Yes, that's that too. And but this is still the show where we try to answer the question: oh, Is it Jeffrey Gold to transform? And let's get right to it. We can start with these guys. So basically, transform them. We'll plug that in, and then you're just gonna flip that, and actually flip their hips back, and then these are gonna plug in there somehow. There you go. And their the legs are also gonna tab in together somehow. Should it be easier to just tab it in first and then plug them both in at the same time? Hey, how how are they supposed to look like? Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, the, the arms are gonna tab into the side somewhere, like the side of the hips. There you go. There you go, and, and that's it. Oh, it, it actually closes up very nicely, and that's what one guy will look like. And let's do the other guy. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, from there, yeah, pull up, push back, um, tab the legs together, and then they're going, there's two tab holes in there, line them those up somehow and push it all in. And then the arms are just gonna tab to the side of the hips like that, and there it is. They, they look so nice. They just look so nice. Pew 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 pew. pew. Very cool. I wonder how you can Nova Star? Start? I mean, uh, what's his name? Her name. Hot Link. So, um, yeah. The what are we gonna do here next? Yeah, let's just go straight ahead to transforming this guy. Um, let's unplug his or her shoulder cannons. Oh, he has. He should have light piping. Her. Should, she should have light piping, and you should see that. Very cool. And hey daddy. Yes, but I think these can plug under the cannons of the socket heartburn and okay. then it should be a double cannon. Sure. Actually no. No, that hole is there. Oh yeah, you're right. Super cannon. Boom 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 boom. Just imagine So that's cool, I didn't even notice that. Okay. Okay, um, so I've, it's been a while since I last looked at one of these seekers, so this will be a little bit of a struggle. Uh, uh, okay, the chest piece will come out. And something like that. So obviously, that's going to be the front. Oh, so, something's going to spin here. Oh, I forgot now how this works. And this one... Turn around there so that this oh yeah 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 front. yeah yeah but okay yeah and, and then i do know this one comes off as well there you go and yeah the whole back so wait a second so this thing also there's that little piece there i think we should push back on the head somehow okay anyway i know so okay it looks like these two parts are tabbed yeah then I untabbed it from that little piece there. So I guess if the whole thing's going to turn around, okay, the whole head is gonna push back, I think. Because what will happen is this will be on the on this well on the top of the the shoulders, and then it's gonna look like that somehow. 
but um, okay, we're not there yet. Each one turns around individually. Oh, like how? Like this way and then that way. But which, like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, these untab. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, maybe untab them. Yeah, from the back. And then spin them around. There you go. There's going to be the nose of the Seeker, the Tetra Jet. Oh, wow. Now that looks nice already. Okay. And then I think oh, that, that's almost it. We're going to push back on the head in there. And then this will go there. These, these, this will go back down actually, I think. Is there any use of even making it go up? And then these are just going to go. Maybe making space or something. Yeah. And then, where did these go? Just like that? I, I have to look at Why not just the box. Close the hands in first. Oh. Oh yeah, you're right. So let's hide the hands first. Pull this panel out. Fold the arms in. Hands! Or hands, sorry. <laughs> fists. Pull this panel out that comes with the fist and then fold the fist in. So this one was a little tight, but it's all good. I feel like, shouldn't this collapse somehow? Or no, it's just going to be like that, is it? How, how does this work? Daddy, yes. I see a tab there or something. Yeah, I know. But I don't know where it tabs to. I mean, that looks like it won't work. Okay, I forgot now. Um, of course, we're, let's let's tuck these guys in together. And we do know that um, they're probably going to rotate. And then they're going to fold like that somehow. But that means the arms will go there. Yeah, you're right. So we rotate and then fold. Like that somehow is what we said. Yep. <laughs> and Aren't they supposed to tap? Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. So this whole thing will... Come forward? Yep. Drop down. Somehow that's that's going to be the underside of him. Like so. Now where did the arms go? I forgot where they go. Uh, and also... There's gotta be clues here somewhere. Hey, isn't this supposed to tab in there or somehow? Yeah, you're probably right. You are probably right. But the arms have to get out of the way. Oh, okay, I get it. I remember now. The the arms are just gonna be there somehow. But I mean, and then these are gonna drop down. There you go. Yeah, something like that. That fits. And then, so yeah, so Alphonsus Prime said there are these two tabs that will tab into there. Okay. Good luck with Did that. Actually, yeah. Oh, let's make sure we hide those two in there first. That's the and thing that from going up. So there's something here that we're missing. Okay, that that's not bad. But these arms, I don't know how are they supposed to position. I feel like the the thing should fold in but I mean that's not bad that's not bad I think it's like that but then how do they stay in position mm. oh 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 are there tabs no they, they don't go into anywhere but I think more or less that is it you oh just... you know what um let me open this up again Why? hey how do I open it up Okay, there. I feel like this. There you go. There you go. Now it's shorter at least. But, and and you, so definitely in the back, it's gonna be like that. But in the front, oh oh, is there like a tab that lines up? I don't know. So, but but that works. See. That definitely works. I think and so we're gonna do that is. here as well. Open it up and then fold his arms, sort of accordion it in, and. And line it up here on the back of the jet, and then it's kind of um, and it's gonna be like that. I think that's it. I wish there would be something that covers this part. I think something. That's fine. So I mean, that's how you're gonna display it anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, unfortunately.
I, I mean, yeah, we, we could just take these guys. We'll need Wait, these here. No, not yet. We'll need these here to complete the look. And then we're gonna give them blast. We're gonna give her some blast effects. Make it look really Got nice. It. Yep. And that's what it will look like. It? Yeah, it's a robot. It's a sea robot. She's a robot. Okay, so there she is. Very nice. Should probably get my stand here. I mean, but I'm not gonna do that very often. Post stuff on the stands. But so yeah, I mean, as usual, classic Transformers jets and whatnot. They have very nice. They look very nice on top. They have a lot of baggage on the bottom, but no, otherwise, it one. is very cool. Looks very cool. Now let's try to transform her back into robot I mode. Like but you want to transform these two guys? Off camera? I, yeah, you can do that. There, there's no place for I these guys to, to plug I into. To the, her in, let's go ahead and transform those two guys. I'm now, I'm now, I'm now going to transform this back into robot mode. Well, actually, let's just stick a photo right here again. Photo, photo, photo. And then I'm going to transform her back into robot mode now. So the answer to the question, is it difficult to transform, is a no. I mean, this is now the seventh time. Yep, go ahead. D don't do that, but Seventh time now that we've looked at this mold. So, I mean, we, yep. And we've forgotten how to do it, but we were still able to do it anyways. So that's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a, go a good uh, mold or design. Good enough. Probably not the best. I mean, for this size, for this price point, I mean, I did get, oh, I did pay for full price for this, I think, because anyway, it's a I Walmart exclusive. Good enough, I mean, it's not It's not our usual thing. We're supposed to be the garage, no, don't, don't take it too much like that, but we are the garage sale toy finders, Transformers toy finders. This isn't one of our best days in that regard, it's one of our best finds, but it is what it is. It is still very cool. So, um, drop this down there. Plug in, there you go. And then these guys, I unplugged it. Oh, tab from each other. These noses that will become, uh, well, the nose of the Tetra Jet that will become the back, sort of um, whatever that is. There's that. Straighten it out. These are gonna plug into the back. Once you've lined it all up. Oh, oh boy. So it's a little tight. My copy is, um, but that's fine. Oh, which one plugs into where? Oh boy, I don't know. Oh, sorry, there's really only one hole there. And you kind of have to squeeze it. Let's untap this first. Make it easier. So this one, there you go. It's gonna have a hard time with that one. There you go. This one, just gonna force it back in there and tab it in. This one, there you go. What happens to these? Do they, I guess they're, they kind of flop around. So I guess the one unfortunate thing about this design uh -oh, is there's no Decepticon logos on the wings in like on the front of the robot mode, but it is what it is. It's still cool. The only process I could come up was a punch and skydive while children in his Yeah, but they can't even stand up. Yeah, I know. But buddy, the secret here is to use this to Make him stand up. See? Oof. Um, there you go. And let's plug these in here. Plug these in here. And that's it. For this episode of Ranji.com Garage Sale Transformers Toy Finders. Or just give to start!
It's the new show, but this is actually GSTF2 Talk Friday, so it's GSTF3. It's the new new show, where, uh, and this is the show where we try to answer the question, is it the video to transform? And today we took a look at this guy, which is Transformers, War for Cybertron Trilogy, Netflix, Walmart exclusive, uh, Voyager class hot link together with heat stroke and heartburn. Uh, and, and obviously the answer to the question is a no. Um, this is the seventh time we've looked at this mold. So it is very cool. It still is very cool. Um, we hope you like this episode. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please follow us on our social media channels. We're on Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, please click the notification bell icon to get notified of future episodes. And last but not least, please share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and everybody you know. You be your enemies and until next time, the Shaktikans retreat!